Hello friends, welcome to the next video in the LearnLatex series. In this video, we will be discussing the multi-column tables and multi-row tables. Let's take a look at the multi-column table shown here. We can see that the columns 2 to 4 of the first row are merged to form a header. We will try to create this table now. Let us start by writing the table slash reference multi-column underscore table displays a table with multi-column header. Then, at the required position, insert the table environment by typing slash begin table and auto-completing it. Add the parameter ht to render the table at the current position. Now, change the caption to multi-column table and label to multi-column underscore table respectively. We will be adding four columns to this table. Add parameter c c c c to the slash begin tabular line. Start with slash h line to draw the top horizontal line of the table. The first entry of the row is serial. We will be joining the next three columns for this first row. This is achieved using the syntax slash multicolumn. The slash multicolumn syntax takes three parameters. The first parameter is the number of columns to be clubbed. In our case, it is 3. The next parameter is the centering option. And the last parameter is the actual data. In our case, it is multi-column header. We end this row using two backslashes. The next row will also contain header in our case. But we need a horizontal line only between columns 2 to 4. This is obtained using the syntax slash c line 2 dash 4 instead of slash h line. In the next row, we write number and data header 1 and data header 2 and data header 3. One can then complete the table as required. Once the complete data in the table is entered, the code can then be compiled. On compiling, we observe a table having the top row spanning multi-column data. A table boundary is not present on the left of the table rendered here. This is fixed by adding a pipe key to the parameter of tabular. On recompiling, we observe the table with left boundary. The size of the table is also too small to be observed easily. This is fixed by scaling the table using scalebox syntax and recompiling the code. The scalebox syntax must encompass the whole tabular environment. We observe that the table size is increased. In this way, we can add multi-column tables to our documents. The next part is understanding how to add a multi-row table to our documents. Let's take a look at the table we want to create. The table has the second and third rows of the first column clubbed together and it contains the data as one. For creating this table, we first need to import the multi-row package using slash use package command. Then add the line, the table slash reference multi-row table displays a table with a cell spanning multiple rows. Now add a table environment as discussed earlier with parameters ht. Change the caption to multi-row table and label to multi-row underscore table respectively. Let us add three columns to this table. Change the parameters of command slash begin tabular according to the required number of columns as desired by your table. Start with slash h line to draw the top boundary of the table. Write the names of column headers as serial number, header 1 and header 2. End the row with double backslash and write the command slash h line to draw a horizontal line. The next entry would be a multi-row one. It is achieved using slash multi-row command. This syntax also takes in three parameters. The first parameter is the number of rows to be merged. In our case, it is two. The second parameter is the width of the cell. And the third parameter is the actual data to be entered. We are writing one as the data. Continue with the row entry as shown and end the row using double backslash. In the next row, only two entries would be required as the first column's rows 
are already clubbed together. Enter the next two rows as shown in the video. Complete the rest of the table as required. On compiling, we can observe a table rendered on a document with the two rows of first column clubbed together. Try increasing the scale of the table using slash scalebox command. In this way, one can add multi-row tables to the document. That's it for the current video. Hit the like button and share the video with your friends. Until next time, stay calm and keep learning. Peace out.